So today is the 31st of March. My name is Carly and I'm a clinical nurse specialist working in infectious diseases. So I'm about to head into my morning shift and today's going to be a little bit different because yesterday we found out that we are becoming the dedicated coronavirus ward. If somebody told me a year ago that there was going to be a pandemic that would change the world forever, I would absolutely not have believed them. I have never lived through anything like this or worked through anything like this and until it happened I think it was very hard to imagine and see how things would work out. So that will mean a few changes from now on we'll be putting PPE on as we walk through the door and we will be leaving that on the entire time for all patients except for changing our gloves and doing hand hygiene between. Um, and we'll be only taking all of that off for breaks and as we finish work. So I imagine it's going to be a little bit sweaty. I've heard a lot about overseas, a lot of the infected patients are healthcare workers, including nurses. And that makes me, it does make me feel stressed, but working in infectious diseases, we are very comfortable and confident with our PPE. It's all about how you put it on, make sure it's all on properly and taking it off as well, making sure that you're not contaminating yourself as you're taking it off. And then the washing and hand hygiene that comes with all of that as well is important. And that's something that we train for, we practice, that's our bread and butter. So I hope that protects us. And all the evidence is showing that it's spread by contact and droplet. So we're wearing all the correct PPE and it seems more likely that we'll catch it in the community. We've kind of been preparing, I guess, bracing ourselves for what's going to happen. We've all heard about the whole flattening the curve and the hospital capacity thing, and that is really scary. So I'm telling everybody I know, please social distance, please stay at home, self-isolate, um, because the idea that we will be above hospital capacity and that people are going to miss out on beds is really scary and I'm not sure if a lot of people know what that means but to put it bluntly people will die. My greatest fear is that we won't be successful with the social isolation and social distancing and that the rate of infection will continue to rise and that hospitals will be inundated with coronavirus cases and people will miss out on beds. That is my greatest fear because that essentially means that people will die but it is avoidable by social distancing and people complying with isolation rules and people just staying at home as much as they can. So we'll see how today goes. I'm feeling good about becoming the coronavirus ward because it is a clear plan. Everyone will know what's going on. This is where the patients go. Um, in infectious diseases up there, we're very confident with our PPE. Uh, and donning and doffing and I think it will be good. So I think everybody needs to be taking this pandemic very seriously and the social isolation and physical or social distancing that comes with that is extremely important. If people can work from home they should be working from home and if they can avoid going out they should avoid going out and that is not just to protect themselves but also so they're not spreading the virus so they can protect the elderly the young and also the healthcare workers who have no choice but to go out and go to the petrol station and things like that so that we can go to work because it is said that it's most likely that we will get this virus in the community as a healthcare worker and so we need everyone else to protect us so that we can continue working to look after everyone else watch this space